Good day everyone! For today's discussion is the continuation of our lesson 2, which is the intellectual revolution that defines society. And in this video, we will discuss the Phrygian revolution and the information technology. But before that, we have here our learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, students can be able to recognize the psychoanalysis of Sigmund Freud, and the role of information technology in the society. Discuss the three theory of Sigmund Freud's psychoanalysis and appreciate the important roles of information technology in our society. So the next one is the Freudian Revolution, another intellectual revolution from a very great psychoanalytic philosopher which is Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud is the father of psychoanalysis. He is an Austrian physician and born on May 6, 1856. With his theory, he explained that there are many conscious and then conscious factors that can influence behavior, emotions, and personality. Freud theorized three aspects of personality that significantly influence human behavior. And these three are the levels of mind, level of personality, and the psychosexual stages of development. So let's talk about the three levels of mind. Freud believes that human personalities are a result of three conflicting personalities. Here is the conscious mind, pre-conscious mind, and unconscious mind. The conscious mind consists of thoughts, desires, wishes that are aware and can recall at any time. The pre-conscious mind is located between the unconscious mind and conscious mind. It consists of experiences that we are not aware of but are made simply conscious by focusing on them. And the last one is the unconscious mind which is the highest levels of mind that contained repressed urges, thoughts, memories, and wishes, which is disturbing and threatening. Thoughts within the unconscious mind are unorganized. They are based solely on pleasures and desires and are usually in conflict with the society. Now, the three structures of personality. Freud also believed that there are three structures of personality, which is the id, ego, and the superego. The id is the animalistic nature of man, or which is known the makahayo personality. It is destructive and pleasure-seeking structure of personality. The ego is the human nature of man, or makatao. It also acts according to laws and morals, and also limits by the bound of reality. The ego controls the id and acts as the mediator between the id and superego. And the superego is the makadios. Its personality strives for perfection and is always been good and honorable. You will see in the photo the example of id, ego, and superego. The id here acts to be selfish. Like it says, it's all yours. Forget about your brother. Keep it all yourself. And so the ego answers there. I know mom gave me this candy to share with my brother. We should split it evenly. So the ego there acts as how we are or the reality that we need to do. Here the superego speaks that know that your brother loves candy. You should give it all to him and not be greedy. You will see there the comparison between the id ego and the superego. Another theory that influenced the society was a certain stages of development of man. Freud discussed the importance of early childhood experiences in each stages. Here is the five psychosexual stages of development, namely the oral stage, anal stage, phallic stage, latency stage, and the genital stage. This oral stage ranges from 0 to 1 year old. This focuses on pleasure that centers on the mouth like sucking, biting, and chewing. In the anal stage is from 1 year old to 3 years old. The pleasure focuses on bowel or bladder elimination. It is coping with demands for control. Next is the phallic stage ranges from 4 years old to 6 years old. 
It focuses on the pleasure zone of the genitals, like coping with incestuous sexual feelings or the Oedipus complex. Next is the latency stage, ranges from 7 years old to 12 years old. This stage focuses on the dormant sexual feelings and also the identification process of gender identity. And the last stage is the genital stage, ranges from 13 years old and above. Here it focuses on the maturation of sexual interests. And now, we will discuss the revolution of information technology. Technology's role in society today has an overall impact of living. One of the greatest influencers that technology has on our adolescent lives other than for entertainment purposes is the learning factor it possess. Like for example, in schools, it allows us to use the word documents other than notebooks that has definitely lightened our loads. With YouTube being the second most used search engine available in the world, it not only delivers hilarious entertainment, but it also a main supplier of short documentaries and informative programs. It has transformed countless hours studying from a book into online interactive websites, which is very accessible whenever the help is required. Technology has not only benefited our learning styles, techniques, and the quality of work, but the convenience in which help is always readily available in some ways. On education, it has opened a whole learning environment. Knowledge can be easily processed with the help of internet technology. Like now, it is easier to help children with special needs. E-learning and online education has made it very simple and systematic to secure knowledge. Students can pick their own curriculum with ease. Immediate response to queries and tests has made education a lot faster and more efficient. The use of computers in the classroom has opened up a whole new method of teaching and effectual learning. Businesses have more profitable with the help of various advanced machines and this has led to a rise of standard living of people. Global collaborations and partnerships are easier to start and maintain that benefits everyone who are involved with the international or domestic businesses. It has become easier to combat competitions and this has led to more choice for the consumers. Even though there are certain repercussions and negative impact of information technology, as well, nobody can say that this has not aided the society as a whole. Indeed, the world is a better place. Thanks to the information technology, and the future looks are much brighter and more innovative. And by that, we are thankful with this various advancement of our society.